Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Finale. Here are the Big Bang Theory 8 times Amy should have been fired. Number 8, eating in the lab. While it isn't clear whether eating in the lab is forbidden, it does come with a risk and may have got Amy fired. A lab should be a sanitizing quarantine space, not only for the sake of tests, but for the safety of the people working in the lab. Eating in a working lab is just bad practice. One example of this is in the episode The Alien Parasite Hypothesis. Sheldon is sharing lunch with Amy in her lab. Viewers see Amy alternate between slicing a test subject's brain and eating a sandwich, all without taking off her gloves. Fans have to wonder, what is the purpose of the gloves then? In the same episode, Sheldon also mistakes the cadaver brain specimen for his sashimi. This is a hilarious mistake to make in a sitcom, but further shows why labs and food should not mix. Can you please make a decision? Not only are the children starving in India, there's an Indian starving right here. There's an idea. Number seven, letting Sheldon cut the brain. In the episode, The Vacation Solution, Sheldon has been forced to take a vacation. Full of energy and unsure what to do with himself, he visits Amy in her lab and assumes that he can be of use as a fellow scientist. When Amy directs him to clean out some breakers, he feels that he has been given a task that is beneath him. Eventually, Amy relents and allows Sheldon to try something that only a skilled biologist should attempt. He tries to then cut the brain Amy is studying in the necessary extremely thin slices and ends up instead cutting himself and bleeding on the experiment. Luckily, neither the experiment nor Sheldon appears to suffer too much damage. Grab an nostril and help me get this face off. <laughs> Come on, you can do this. Do we Number six, budget fraud. In the episode Collaboration Contamination, Howard visits Amy's lab and is given a tour of her state-of-the-art machinery. He's impressed and jealous of the tools that she has at her disposal, especially the brand new expensive coffee maker. She tells Howard that in her lab expense reports, she puts the coffee machine down as her Colombian lab assistant, Eduardo. This misuse of funds, while very funny for viewers, could easily have gotten her fired if she was found out. But this sort of thing happens. You can get it. had to wait almost 50 years before they built a collider big enough to do this thing. Number five, bringing a test subject home. In season four, Amy's department is working on a nicotine addiction study involving Reese's monkey test subjects. In the episode, The Agreement Dissection, Sheldon visits Amy's apartment and is surprised to see a monkey smoking cigarettes. Amy says that she brought Ricky the monkey to stay at her home. She further adds, I'm giving him emphysema. The least I can do is let him hang out and watch cable. While Amy's compassion for her test subject is heartwarming, it's unlikely that her department is aware of this arrangement, and it's definitely not a good career move. I'm doing this to be a good neighbor. In any case, there's no Number four, napping on the job. In the episode Retraction Reaction in season 11, Amy and Bernadette are enjoying talking to each other about their work and the equipment they get to use. Amy tells Bernadette that she has just given a new fMRI machine and says, Sometimes I just lie down in there and take a nap. It's like a million dollar bunk bed. While Amy's employer would likely be upset at their extremely expensive piece of equipment being used this way, they might be even more concerned about her napping on the job, even if she's salaried and her hours don't affect her pay. This one's a big no-no. The opportunity to apply for it. Number three, uses her lab to test herself. In the episode, The Alien Parasite Hypothesis, Sheldon and Amy are trying to scientifically determine what made Amy experience some distressing symptoms the night before. According to Sheldon, the possible explanations for the symptoms in descending order of likelihood are hyperthyroidism, premature menopause, hosting an alien parasite, and sexual arousal. What do you want, Sheldon? Number two, she probably marked her territory. In the season six episode, The Higgs Boson Operation, Amy gives Penny advice on how to mark her territory. Amy demonstrates this by rubbing Sheldon's phone under her armpit and licking his stapler. She goes on to say that she has spread her scent all over Penny's apartment. It seems likely that Amy has gone this elsewhere and perhaps at work. While perhaps not a fireable offense, licking or otherwise marking her colleagues or boss's things would probably be frowned upon. To mode well. <laughs> You, you just said it's okay. Number one, she attacks fellow scientists at a work function. In season 12, Sheldon and Amy have published a paper together on their revolutionary supersymmetry hypothesis. Amy is understandably upset when two physicists who don't actually understand the supersymmetry theory are nominated for the Nobel Prize, along with her and Sheldon. Their work accidentally proved the theory, so they are riding the coattails of Sheldon and Amy's brilliant hypothesis. Amy gets upset and yells that they are frauds and imposters at a university lunch function. She's reprimanded for this later, but easily could have been fired for it. However, her employers understand why she's upset and support her being nominated for the Nobel Prize. You can't make a baby watching Netflix with your dog. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen, because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video. So long.